Hi y'all! Welcome back to Rock, 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 Natural. And I decided to start a new, I don't know if I'm going to make it a series or not, but I am a freelance hair and makeup artist. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of show you what's in my kit. If you're interested in being a freelance hair or makeup artist, be sure to stay tuned. In this first video, I'm going to be showing you what's in my hair kit as a stylist. And so a hairstylist, so this means that I'm styling. So I do do other types of hair, like natural hair and braids. Um, but I find that those kind of consist of different things in my kit compared to what's in my kit if I'm styling like an updo or, you know, a downdo for a special event or a wedding. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So I think I'm going to start with some of the essentials. And then when you're doing a lot of styling, you all you might be using some heat. So I have this heat protectant. Um, this is one of my favorite ones because it's vegan and paraben free. And it adds shine and tames frizz. I guess I'll show you all the hair products first and then I'll show you the tools. So you want to have some type of brushable hold. Um, hairspray so I have this one but then you also want a firm hold and I like a certain type of brand I need to go buy some more so I'll be sure to insert a picture here of that firm hold but this brushable hold is good to kind of help shape the hair and also you'll be able to brush through it so I love this kind this is also from Sally uh, Sally's this is a good one. Obviously, there's a bunch of different hairsprays out there that you can use. These are just some of the things that I use in my kit. The next item is some styling cream. And so this is good to have styling cream so you can shape the hair depending on the type of style that they want. And the reason why I thought this would be good is because I'm prepping for Denver Fashion Week and I was like, what more of a better way to go over what's in my kit when I'm gathering all the items I need to go into my kit to be ready for this big day. Um, I'm going to be a hair and makeup artist, so I'm going to be doing hair on one day, makeup on the other. But as far as styling cream... I like to use this John Frieda. They have a bunch. John Frieda has a bunch of different hair products that I find um, could be perfect for my kit as well. So this helps with moisturizing the hair and it keeps style sleek and straight for all day. So this is great if someone's going for a more sleek style. Um, I can. I also use this when I'm curling too for like a sleek curl. Like I said, John Frieda has a lot of products. So this is the same brand that I like of my firm holding spray. So there's Jayco um, Joyelle. So this is styling gel and this is a firm styling gel. So this is great for those styles that need a lot of hold. And the good thing about this product is that when I look at products, I try to see what the first item or ingredient is. And the first item on this list is water. So it's perfect. Yeah, I like this brand. Ouch. This brand. Ouch. Uh, before purchasing this, I did do quite a bit of research just to see what was out there. Um, I also believe that John Frieda has a really good firm holding spray. And I'm trying to see if that concludes all of the products that I like to bring. And that looks like that concludes as far as like the products. Mind you, these are styles where you're coming and the hair is already washed so i'm going to be right back and show you all of the tools that i like to use when i'm styling someone's hair now let's move on to the tools so i don't use all these tools every single time but these are just some of the tools that i like to have in my kit so the first one so it's good to have wands or i mean curling irons of different sizes so i have this one inch and then i have a three-fourths inch as well and so it's good just to have all sizes so that you can give your client the look that they want the size that they want these two are the same brand and I love this brand because I like that the 
handle, you can lock the handle here. And you can also unlock it and then the handle swivels so that it's just nice and fluid. You don't have to worry about hurting your wrist or getting the curling iron stuck on the person's hair. And this is similar with this one. So this is a one inch like I said and then that one's a three fourths inch. It's good to have a variety of sizes. I also have a wand but I find that I can get most of my styles with curling styles with those two and a flat iron. So I actually have this flat iron. So this flat iron is also a crimper and I feel like crimping's coming back. Back in the day it was, you know, not really, it was a thing back in the day and then it kind of faded away. Now it's coming back. So this is a crimper and it has I'll have to zoom in on this, but um, it has a bunch of different panels that you can use. So it has a straight, so it's good to have this as a combo because if I'm doing someone's hair, I don't want to have to switch. Oh, here, this you can see better on the side. I don't have to switch. So it has a straight knee, and then the crimper sizes get larger. Um, so this is a good tool to have. Next, of course, you want to make sure you have a blow dryer with one of these on it. So this is good for doing blowouts. Along with having this piece on the end, you also want to make sure you have a diffuser. These, all these are a combo pack. You need to have all of them. Next, uh, you want to make sure that you have a bunch of clips. So I like these silver duck clips. But I also like the black dead clips. And then um, this is a little set. But I restock this when I need to. So in this, I'll have to zoom in on this. But this has a variety of sizes of hairpins. Bunch of different colors. Um, different color hair nets. Rubber bands. Clips. Large bobby pins. And this is easy just for me to carry around. Restock when I run out. And this is great for styling because you need a bunch of bobby pins, as I'm sure you know, to get the style that you want. Next, um, so I had that one flat iron, but you want to make sure that you just have a variety of sizes. I mean, you technically don't need, but this is when you decide what you need based off of your client's hair. So if my client had shorter hair, then I would obviously be bringing this outside of the actual tools themselves like curling irons, flat irons, blow dryers, you want to make sure that you have the right brushes, combs. So here I have this brush. Detangling hair, the bristles are perfect. I don't know if you can really see. So they have thinner bristles and then it gets really coarse closer to the base of the brush. This is good to have and then I have similar brushes like that round brush wide tooth comb with, along with my wide tooth comb I have teasing combs so teasing smaller comb wide tooth comb and then I also have this comb which is great for a variety of hair types so as you can see the trend here is to have a variety of sizes of everything that you have to accommodate your client so for me I like to see my clients hair ahead of time uh, maybe even have like a consultation with them just to see their hair get a feel for what I need for their big day or if I'm just styling for their special event um, I like to you know have this conversation with them beforehand so that I'm not bringing all my plies all the time I feel like that was a lot, but I feel like we also touched on so much. So these are just some essentials to have as like a beginner. Obviously the variety of sizes of all the tools come over time. Like you don't need that right off the bat, but as long as you have things that are versatile, then you'll have everything you need to start off your kit. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to be doing more what's in my kit videos basically showing you what's in my kit when I'm styling or braiding what's in my makeup kit um that one's gonna be fun because there's so much that goes into it 
But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are a stylist of any sort and there was something you felt like I forgot, be sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next upload. Toodles!